We're here with another episode of Tell Me Your Story and we've got some interesting things to talk about today. But first, some very interesting kids. Can we have your names? Alicia, Spartacus and Shantika. All right. Now, if you're watching there and to the three kids over here, I have a question. If you were a superhero and you could choose a superpower, what superpower would you choose? What superpower would you choose? Super strength. Super strength? It's right. also like a superhero that in real life that doesn't have any powers but he still saves people at night. Ooh, sounds cool. What would your superpower be? To save. To save people? Okay, and yours? Super speed. Super speed, sounds good. If I think I wanted to have a superpower, I would like to make things go slow, like really slow. Like, you know. does that. Yeah, there's a it runs so fast that in the movie they they slow down everything to see how fast he runs. Wow. Yeah, something like that. The next question I have, I hope you who are watching have got your superpower in your head. The next question I have for you is if you had to lose a superpower, what power would you lose? The ability to feel. Ouch. The ability to feel. But by no. feel, by feel I mean like not get hurt. Ah, okay. That's even more philosophical. Okay, if you had to lose a superpower, what would you lose? Taste. Taste. You? To see. To see? Okay. Well, I have to tell you, if you're wondering what superpowers do we have to lose, we've got a lot of superpowers. We can see everything with our eyes, we can touch everything with our hands, we can taste, we can sense and we can smell. These are superpowers, let me tell you. And there are a lot of people who don't have these powers. Do you agree? There are some people who can't see, there are some people who can't touch, there are some people who can't, you know, uh, physically feel things or of course taste. What would you do to help these people? Yes, Vargas? What would you do to help these people? Him first. What would you do to help these people? I would try and make them understand. Try and make them understand? What would you do? First, I could take my elders' help and then... You will take your elders' help. What would you do, Spartacus? I would get all my friends to help me teach him, to teach him our survival instincts to survive. Wow! Survival instincts to survive. Yes! That's, we're going. We're going good speed here. The point is that if you have to help someone, you need to know. So it's like Spartacus, would you try to teach someone swimming? Yeah. Yes, because Spartacus knows how to swim. I, on the other hand... I would need someone to help me, like Mystica or Enchantra. I cool, someone, someone elder. If I taught someone to swim, we both would drown because I kind of don't know. So the point of today's story that we're telling, and it's a Bible story, is how to help others. What's a good way to help others? And what is the right way to help others? Stay tuned right in, and we're going to tell you what the story is. So what do we have for the craft today in Chantra? What is the material? We have a pair of scissors. Yes. Some markers. Very nice, some sketch pens. Three different types of ribbon. Yay. Some staples. Yes. Staples. And colored paper and a plastic sheet. Colored paper and a plastic sheet. And some white normal paper. And some white normal paper. All right. Can we have you come this side so we can all start? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take are three white sheets and I want you to fold them into half this way in the length so we're good that way all right go ahead Spartacus today I'm not going to be doing the craft I just want to watch them do it and it's going to be fun like that I know perfect well if you could get the crease like Alicia here to touch from edge to edge, both your edges to touch very clean, it would turn out to be nice. yes. Very nice. Perfect. 
We then are going to fold it into another half. So you're going to touch it and fold it again. But this way. Very nice. Another fold. So now we've got two folds on the paper and it looks something like this. Very nice. Okay. We're going to take a sketch pen each and or a pencil or a crayon, whatever you have. And at the fold where, this is like a mountain, at this fold, not this side, at this fold, you're going to draw a small triangle or a small line here. So just draw a line going like this. Very nice. Like so. so. This is your fold and this is your line. There you go. No, just one line. At the fold, very nice, like Alicia has done so. At the fold, you get a line. Very nice. You can now take a pair of scissors and cut that line. So, can we have you all cut that triangle? Pull the paper together and there you go. Right on that line, you just go. If your parents don't allow you to use scissors, you can go ahead and ask any of your family members to do it for you. It's just a very small, very nice. There you go. Yes, if you open the paper thoroughly, it's going to be a triangle, but we want it like that. Pretty. Any idea what we're doing today? Uh, we're trying to... No, he doesn't know. He's trying to guess. But what we're going to be making is masks for the eyes because we're talking about superpowers and superheroes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yay! But this would be more like a blind person mask where you can't see anything if you'd wear it. Would you be able to save the world like this, Spartacus? No. <laughs> I don't I think... I run into a wall or something. <laughs> That's true. With something like that, you're straight running into a wall. You want to try it, Alicia? If you had, if you were a superhero with something like this, can you put it under your eyes? So like, uh, there's one superhero with something like this, I don't know. Which you couldn't see? No, you could see. No, no, I'm talking about not being able to see, like that. Spartacus, the superhero with no ability of sight. How cool is that? And Chantra, what would happen to you if you were a superhero Chantra with this? Chantra should do that. Because she only told her power, the power that she would give her was her. Sight, no, that was Alicia. What would you do, Enchantra, if you had something like that on your eyes and you had to go help? I would use echolocation. Ooh, echolocation. We still have to reach to echolocation, but for now, I think we'll run into a wall for sure. The next thing we're going to do is give ourselves sight. We're going to take this and I'll show you how to draw those two holes. You're going to fold the paper right to its half. So you're going to have something like this. That's your triangle there that you cut and your paper is folded into half. So you've got a long line. You then take on that folded line. We're going to be helping each other out on this one. Can you hold it to your eyes? And then we'll put two dots just where the eyes are. There you go. It's a little to the side. No, don't worry. There you go. Can you come this way? So you're going to need your friend's help or your mom's help to do this one. Go ahead. There you go. One here and one here. Perfect. That's okay because you're, it's going to come right above your nose. You then fold the paper into half. You now have a dot on each side. Or you can fold the paper like this. Like a wheel. And you cut two circles just around. Just make sure you're cutting the dots away. Woohoo! Come on.
on here. Show everybody what that looks like. There we go. That's small. I think I'm gonna have to make it a little bigger. Some bigger triangles so that you can see better. The idea is to be able to see. Very nice. If you think that you cannot see very clearly, you just make the circle or your triangle a little bigger, a little wider, so you can see better from your superhero glasses. There we go, all right, all good? You wanna put that across your eyes now? Oh yeah, other way around. <laughs> There you go, perfect. Now I'm going to leave this table to the three of you. You can use sketch pens to decorate your um, mask or you could use scissors to make patterns on top. Whatever you please, you can stick stickers on it. If you've got some pieces of uh, jewelry that are broken or some uh, pearls or something like that, you just want to join in. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Be as creative as you'd like to be to decorate your special spectacles. Go ahead. You can do whatever you want, however you want it. Just be yourself and go crazy with the colors. Almost done, Chandra. Perfect. So the first thing you're going to do, and always remember, is we're going to clear up after ourselves. So we're going to put the sketch pens back into the place. There we go. And there we are, whenever Spartacus is done. And we're going to take all the trash paper, and I'm just going to go drop it into the bin. Please drop all of your waste paper into a dustbin. I'll be right back. Now comes the best part of it all. We're going to take our ribbon. What color yellow is okay for you? You have to take your ribbon and cut roughly about the length of your, let's say, to your elbow, that length. Can you help me cut it from here? Very nice. Like a spider's. <laughs> no, that's when you open the whole thing. But to make sure that it doesn't tear very easily, we're going to hold it at that. 
another length till your elbow that way and another cut this is for Alicia why don't you hold it till your elbow Spartacus and then we'll cut it there to your elbow and a cut another one two pieces of ribbon per child to your elbow and very nice always when you finish using your ribbon use a tape and tape it up so that the ribbon doesn't fall apart ribbon otherwise has a tendency of just going crazy that's the best way to store your ribbon what do you want to do? yes yes that's the best way to do it if you want you can use glue or you can go ahead if you have uh, tape you could do the same there we go in chancha To your uh, elbow. It will help stick this to the paper and stick the papers together so it doesn't open. That's true. And one more. You can ask your parents to help you out on this one. That would be really, 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 really important. There we go. All right. You're going to need a stapler with pins inside it. You hold, yes, the ribbon. And for the parents who are helping in, because this is going to be closer to the hair of the kids, you use the stapler like this. The single file on top and where the pins are underneath, like this. So, yes. And make sure that the ribbon is inside at least half the size of your thumb. So you put it in or you can put it outside. You want to put it in, you can put it in like that and you start with three. So parents, I would like for you to do this because the kids probably are very small. One, two and three. Also make sure that the flat side is inside because it's going to be the one touching the kid's hair or the kid's skin. Same thing applies to the other side. The fatter portion down and the thin up. We go one, two, three. There you go. Very nice. One more. Very good. I think two should be fine for you. No, you have to tie them. There you go. One more. There you go. That's what it should look like. Two smooth edges on the inside. There we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, staple this in. There we've got some ribbon. There we go. Spartacus, it's time to put your amazing, what do you call them? Mask. Mask on. There we go, Enchantress is on already. So here we are and we'd love to tell you a Bible story about having powers, helping others and especially the ones who cannot see. The parable of the blind leading the blind is taken from Luke and Matthew. Jesus starts by saying, Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they both not fall into a pit? Well, I think they will. The parable asks us to see and check what is important in living our lives as Christians. Is it our clothes or the way we dress, look and behave? Or is it how we feel in our hearts, our emotions? In the Bible, long time ago, there were several rules about what to eat and what not to eat. Washing your hands, like it's still important to our parents today. It's easy for many to believe that as long as one is following the rules, 
they were fine with God. Even if their inner hearts and thoughts were of anger and hated God, Jesus called this attitude blind leading the blind. If our focus is only on our clothes, if what we care about the most is what others can see, then we are blind. We are all on the road to a lot of problem. If our hearts are right with God, we are kind, loving and generous. Everything else will fall into place and by God's grace we will live lives that are truly pleasing to God. Well, to wrap today's episode up, this is what we want to tell all of you. Don't pretend to be anything that you're not. If you need help, ask for it. And if you can't help someone, ask an elder to help the person. Or else, you may be a blind leading a blind.